What's going on guys? My name is Thomas Herman. I'm a professional wakeboarder from Fort Wayne, Indiana, and this is how it all happened. Growing up in Indiana was a pretty average lifestyle for the normal kid. I grew up playing sports like soccer, flag football, and baseball. Ooh. The thing about the Midwest is long winters, short summers, so the only thing to really do in the summers is spend a bunch of time up at the lake. I was very fortunate to have grandparents that had a lake house my whole entire life, so a lot of time during the summers were spent up there. Pursuing water sports coming out of the Midwest is not very common to see, so I always get asked, how'd you get started wakeboarding? My dad spent a lot of time at the lake just wakeboarding as a hobby, and one day when I was five years old, I wanted to do it too. My dad then bought me the tiniest 109 wakeboard, and he showed me the ropes, and I got hooked instantly. From there, I kept wakeboarding as much as possible throughout the next few summers. The hard part about living in Fort Wayne, Indiana was I was an hour from any lake, um, so this really made me appreciate all the time I spent on the water and the next few summers. I got on board as much as possible. Around the age of seven or eight, my dad signed me up for my very first wakeboard competition. INT was a small organization that helped put on contests in Indiana, Ohio, and Michigan for us Midwest riders. The more my dad and I traveled around to these contests, the more I got hooked and fell in love with wakeboarding. As the competitions continued, it started to grow on a bigger scale. I started competing in the WWA competitions, traveling around the country, and meeting a ton of new friends. Showing up to these bigger events was such an eye-opener to the level of riding that these guys were at. Being able to watch and spend time around guys like Harley, Phil, and Rusty was absolutely mind-blowing to me. After seeing the pros throw it out in person, I knew that's what I wanted to do. Soon after that, my dad was able to get in contact with Chris Lasky. Chris was an amazing wakeboard and snowboard coach, and also coached Mike Dowdy. Over these next four to five years, I spent a lot of my summertime traveling to different contests, along with spending time in Michigan with Chris and Chris coming to Indiana to coach me. As high school hit, I knew it was important to spend as much time in Florida as possible. Florida was the mecca of it all, and to be a pro wakeboarder, it seemed like you had to go through there. My winters quickly consisted of wrestling for my high school, and by the time February rolled around, I'd switch to online school and spend time in Florida. After the wrestling season my junior year of high school, I got the opportunity to work with Mike Dowdy. Working with Dowdy got me super motivated, and I was excited to see how the last year of the junior pro division turned out for me. I was able to progress my riding more than I've ever seen before, and I finished the year as the Junior Pro Series Champion, Nationals Champion, and sneaked my way onto the World Championship podium. After the season, I got home and made the tough decision to quit wrestling so I could do online school in my senior year. It took some convincing, but once my parents were on board, I was spending more time in Florida than I ever have before. I was going back and forth from Florida to Indiana, and by the time my 18th birthday rolled around, I had my bags packed and ready to make the full move down south. Making the move was such a game changer and it opened up a lot more opportunities than I had back home. Being here full time means that I can ride year round, spend more time on the water, and learn more about the industry. My rookie year begun and I was able to qualify to Masters through the LCQ. Competing against nine of the best riders in the world was pretty surreal, so I had no expectations and just wanted to have fun. I was able to make it to the finals and come out in fourth place for my first pro contest. This motivated me and I was excited for the contest to come. Competition-wise, the season had its ups and downs. I was able to make a few more finals and walk away with the Rookie of the Year Award, along with John Dryling's Mini Week Invitational Best Trick Award. I was super stoked to have this year wet, but I'm even more excited to see how these next few years play out. Mistreated. I beat the eyes, deleted. On top, top, I'm on DM. No rock 
pants, I'm ACDC. When I die, bet they love me, but hate me when I'm breathing. I, I think you only love me cause I'm popping. This a layup, this a rebound, that's rubbing. Tyson with the fade, not the hair, my hands rocking. When I link with Jeez, my point. Boy, I know that. Yes, I heard.